Kelly Ritchie. I grew up in Lexington, Kentucky. I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, but I spend an awful lot of time on the road. I front my own band, the Kelly Ritchie Band, and it's a power trio. We play blues-based rock, and uh, I'm a guitar slinger, singer, and songwriter. My dad worked at Sears, and so my first guitar came from Sears. Uh, for Christmas, actually this was the very first Christmas I got to open my presents early. We opened them on Christmas Eve. And they brought out a box, and I'm like, ah, yes. <laughs> and when I opened it up, it was a Les Paul copy. It was a, like an orange sunburst um, Les Paul copy. And a little like three watt amp that you know, my first power cord had bounced across the floor. <laughs> Uh, I, I loved it, but I went through three of them in three months, and my dad was like, wow, you know, maybe she's serious about this. The sun is gonna shine. I practiced 12 to 16 hours a day. I, I mean, seriously, I never set it down. I fell asleep with it, I woke up with it, I took it to school. I took my guitar and amp to school. They disconnected most of the outlets at the school so I couldn't plug in and play. Emotion, I think, is a critical component in expressing yourself on an instrument. That's probably what draws me to the blues and blues-based rock more than anything. It's a very emotive style of music. One of my favorite guitar players is a man by the name of Roy Buchanan. And the thing I like most about his play is that he pours everything he has into every single note. And he doesn't let go of that note until he's done with it. I love that. So if you watch any of my videos that I've got on YouTube or uh, my website, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see that when I'm playing, I mean, it, it, it does, it takes everything that I've got. And to learn how to play a guitar and have fun can be done. But to master playing a guitar, to really, you know, hear something and be able to play it, um, it really takes commitment. But it also takes, at least for me, it took guidance. You know, I, you know, some people learn without having a, a guitar teacher. I needed one. I, I, I wanted to get there as quickly as possible. And, and, I, and I didn't really know where to start. I needed somebody to help me manage my time, tell me where to put my time, you know, have a system for me to fall into. So I saw results as quickly as possible. ask me, you know, what's it like being a female guitar player? And, you know, I, I, I do think there's a difference. I really do. One, when I first started playing, there just were hardly any female guitar players in the landscape of music. You know, one in a hundred, one in a thousand, uh, maybe more, more than that. But it was a novelty. People didn't take me seriously at first, so I, I learned early on that I was going to have to work really hard to prove myself. I've studied with a lot of different teachers. Anytime I run across a guitar player that, you know, I'm really inspired by, I always ask them, you know, do you teach? Would it be possible to take a lesson? Would it be possible to study with you for a while? Um, I think whenever you do anything, it's a constant learning process. Um, you know, you hit plateaus, even out, hit another plateau, even out. But it's, 
it's just, you know, you never stop learning. And the more you learn and the more you understand your instrument, the more freedom you're going to have, the more fun you're going to have. Learning the guitar is a process. It's one of these processes that never ends. You know, I'm still learning. I still take lessons on and off. I always will. Um, you know, there's, there's just so many great players and so much to steal and incorporate and make our own. That's really what learning is about. It's not about, at least for me, it's not about mimicking and copying someone else. It's about mimicking and copying to the degree that you take it and you digest it and you pull everything from it that you can, but ultimately you make it your own. And so as a guitar teacher, I want to give you the skills to bring out who it is that you are, to achieve the goals that you have. excited about being a true fire teacher. Um, you know, I've, I've taught for, let's see, I've played for 35 years and I started teaching after I'd been playing just a couple of years. So I've been teaching a long time. I've had well over a thousand students. I've put out a number of instruction manuals. I've taught guitar workshops. I've taught adult ed classes. One-on-one, um, -on -one, you know, I'm I do video, Skype, so I'm very comfortable with the video format, with the, you know, there, there's a camera on, okay, let's, let's go. You know, but the thing that I really like about the True Fire Method is that uh, it gives you material that you can watch over and over and over. So teaching, for me, is a passion. Making sure students have what they need uh, is just critical as a teacher. And so True Fire really gives me the opportunity to teach in that capacity. You know, I do tailored lesson plans for my students and there's video as support for you to watch again and again and again. When you've either mastered your lesson or if you have a problem or a question, all you have to do is, is you know, shoot a quick video, send it to me, I'll critique what you're doing and I'll help. A lot of times when I'm telling people that I, I teach as a True Fire, you know, guitar teacher and it's an online course, they're like, well, how does that work? And, and what's required of the student? And it's like, really, the main thing that's required is the desire to learn and to, you know, put in time on your guitar. Because I will give you what it is that you need to practice, to learn. All I ask from you is that you practice to the best of your ability, because I want you to have fun. This isn't about what I think you should be doing. This is about what, if you tell me what you want to do, I can tell you what it takes to get there. That's what I'm here for, and that's all that's required, is that you show up and that you have a desire to learn. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about me as a person, as an artist, as a player, but also as a teacher. If you have any other questions, I mean, you can go to kellyritchie.com. I have, at the bottom of every page, there's a link to my YouTube page. It's got a ton of videos. So you can see anything from live performance, professionally shot videos, to just, you know, uh, footage that's shot in a club, on stage, at a festival on stage, 
But also in my studio, I like to video my guitar rigs and everything and sound, you know, construction amps. I have all kinds of stuff, recording gear and everything. And so I, I love, you know, making these videos and putting them out. So if you have any other questions or curiosities, there's a lot of information there. And I have a Facebook page. And, um, you know, I, I'm on Twitter. So, you know, it's the, there's always a way to connect. But more than anything, I want to wish you total success as a player. If there's anything that I can do to help, I'm here. I love teaching. I'm passionate about it. I'm here to serve. So best of luck to you, and thanks again for watching. Nothing cause I'm fine <laughs>